Hi friends, it's Karen Brown. And I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I have a tip for you. Some of you may have purchased the doily die from Stampin' Up! some time ago. It's not in the current catalog. So this is for those of us who have the doily die or desire to get hold of it. I've had it for a long time but I haven't used it that much until recently when I came up with this idea. I was so desperate to make better use of it. So what I'm going to do is cut the die first. I've got the Sizzix platform with all the tabs facing me. I'm going to add the precision base plate which is really good for dies that have a lot of intricate design. So I'll put the paper down and the die just to show you what it looks like and run it through I'm using the precision base plate and only one acrylic um, plate. I'm going to run it back through as much as convenience it is to make sure I got a good cut from that. Now I know that with these kind of dies you often have little pieces that you have to pick out and it can be time consuming. So there's a lot of tricks out there on how to avoid this problem but I'm going to show you the one that I like using and that's Stampin' Up's new die brush which comes with their foam pad. So good look at the die brush. It has stiff bristles and I probably press too hard when I use it. But what you do is put your die on the pad as is and then run the die brush over it. Let's see what happens if I don't press so hard as usual. So I've gone all around it. And when I lift it up, there's a lot of that die little pieces on there. And there should be only a few that I might still have to get out. This is clean except for one little piece. But I use it for a lot of different purposes. It's number 126189 and it is handy. I'm going to use it to poke out the rest of the die pieces that I didn't get. There's one. One, two. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, look at the result. Nice doily if you like flat and plain. And I don't. And that's why I haven't used that die all that much. But like I said, I was anxious to be able to get more use out of it. So here we go. Put the foam pad back, the die brush, my poker tool, and move on. What I tried, what I decided to try was to put my doily in an embossing folder. Now you could pick any embossing folder with a lot of design on it. I chose one that I've had for a good long time. It's not in the catalog either, but I like it. It's the textured impressions die, excuse me, embossing folder. And I'm just going to put my doily in there. Doesn't matter which way is up because it'll all work out the same. And I'm going to put my embossing plate on first tab, tab one, add my acrylic pad, the folder with the paper in it, and another acrylic pad and run it through. I'm going to run it through twice again just to make sure I get a good impression on that. And here's what we get. Remember we started with a kind of flat plain doily. Now we have this. And this is how it would look. Isn't that prettier? Oh my goodness, yes. So, if you've got the doily die or plan to get it, then please remember that you can also emboss it for better looks. Thank you for watching. Bye now.